One of the great features in 4.1 is now you can train individual octaves separately. And the reason why that's so important is that every octave on the Malacat is a different sensor. And the nature of FSR technology is that there are little discrepancies from sensor to sensor, that they do respond or can possibly respond a little bit differently. The good news is that the Malacat sees 255 different levels and MIDI is only 127. So when you train each octave, it adjusts that so that it becomes transparent and the instrument works perfectly even if there is a little change from sensor to sensor. It is like a miracle software fix. This is especially useful if you have the instrument for a few years and then you have to change your sensor. In the old days, in order to get the instrument to be even, you'd have to change all the sensors. Now you don't have to. This is how you train the sensors. You simply step on the edit foot switch, you hit the global, and you go to screen 79. And when you go to screen 79, it says to train. So again, Hold it down, global, 79. And the screen says, to train, group pads, hit any pads. As soon as you hit any pad, you let go of the foot switch. If the beeper is on, you'll hear the beeper beeping. I don't use the beeper, so you're not hearing it. And now it's telling me to hit C0 softly. On a Malacat, a three octave, this is C0. C1, C2. If you have a four octave, this is C minus one, and the fifth octave is C minus two. So the first thing I'm going to do, it says to hit C zero softly. And I hit it softly. As soon as I hit it softly, the screen now says hit C zero loud. I don't play it really loud. I play it when I, when I play loud, that's my loud. Now the screen says hit C plus one softly. Here it is, soft, hard. Now it says hit C, two, C plus two softly. Soft, hard. C minus two, soft, hard. C minus one, soft, hard. And now the instrument is all trained. It will never get out of this mode until you step on the foot switch. And now every single pad will respond exactly the same way. Now, as a little tip, you can also train by hitting the F-sharp. Let's say, for example, if the C on one pad is not the best pad on the instrument, that you don't want to train the, the, whole, the whole octave because of this one funny note, you can train the F-sharp, and it'll do the same thing for the pad.